looking at this little Copeland unit, it's not running. It's a ZR34 scroll, it's on a Surat milk tank. Um, so we'll get start at the uh, contactor. I'll turn the cover off, I can actually smell burning. That terminal looks a bit burnt. Too bad. Oh, why is that too bad? I'm wondering whether the coil's burnt out and it. it's not pulled in. Well, on the whole, they're not too um, unreliable, really. Let's see. through that pat you know it's top and bottom so we've got power onto the coil nothing nothing happening it's just looking like the contact is burnt out yeah that's stuck so maybe maybe the um terminals have melted and that's prevented the coil from being able to pull in and that might have burnt the coil out Let's get the power off. And some of the We've got the uh, we've got a padlock. So we've got that locked off. Right, we've got that locked off now and we've confirmed power's off. Right, got the new box on there. Uh, new contact there. And that auxiliary contact that snaps onto the top and that's on when this is off. And that runs the crankcase heater. And then we've got some overloads to go on there. So if the capacitor goes bad, it'll um, trip out on that before it burns the motor out. Keep quite a few of these in stock. We've got overloads from 2 amps all the way up to 32. And then contactors. Auxiliary contacts, uh, mini contactors, um, all sorts of things really. Got some links in here so that if we want to link um, two of the terminals together to the poles, we could link these two and these two and increase the current capacity. Sorts, you know, if you're running a heater or something. Most of the stuff I work on is 230 volt um, control circuits. Um, some of it's 415, but it's very few low voltage. Right, that's all wired. The neutral comes in on the black, goes straight to the contactor through the overloads and out on the black to the um, compressor and the fan. Yeah. There we go. So light comes in there, straight through onto that white wire, and then that goes around again, and then comes through here, and then goes out onto the motor. Because these three poles, these overloads, we need to have current going on each one, and it doesn't matter what comes in on the live, it's going to come out on the neutral. So you could link the neutral through, or you can link the live through. But either way, it's got to it's got to have the same current going through each one of these, or a trip. I think it's lost a phase. Um, and we've got permanent live for the fuse holder onto here. That goes down the feed to the um, control circuit, and then that comes back up to here through the overloads. And on these ones, you can either run a wire out of here around to the coil, or well, this one's got an internal pin that comes through, and you wire it into that terminal down there, which is the same as this one here, it's A2. You've got A2 and A2, 
A1 and A1, which are the colour ones. Um, and then this one here is the crankcase here, that's a normally closed contact, so that's on when this is off. So in theory it should all work, as long as this is okay. This must be uh, a few years old now. P96. So that's 19, 19 years old. Slightly, I put this in when it was new. Um, when I braised the joint on the suction line, it was different then. And I braised it, put my brazing rod on top of the condenser and dropped it. And went to catch it and stuck my arm right on the joint I just braised. And it's still got a scar. Anyway, I'll get the padlock tick off and we'll try this. Let's see if we're lucky. Nothing so far. You can see the coils burnt out in the centre there, it's all melted. That's why we couldn't push that in. That square block needs to go down. And then if I took the cover off of this, and you can see those two terminals in there. That's burnt. So I think this is burnt out and stuck, and then it's not been able to pull in, and then the coil's burnt out.